British warships have set sail for Gibraltar as the diplomatic storm clouds gather between the UK and Spain. The Royal Navy insists the deployment has been long planned. They're calling it routine. <coughs> HMS Westminster will join nine other vessels on an international training exercise in the Mediterranean and the Gulf. At the Spanish border with Gibraltar, drivers are having to wait for up to five hours to get across. Britain says Spain's new border checks are politically motivated and threaten Madrid with legal action. From London, CNN's Dan Rivers is following the developments. Well, the war of words is continuing between Spain and the United Kingdom over Gibraltar. Further queues again on Tuesday as Spanish customs officers searched each and every vehicle that was crossing the border. They have about 10,000 Spaniards <laughs> that cross over every single uh, day. Uh, the dispute has been sparked uh, by uh, the Gibraltese uh, government uh, putting in a fishing reef just off the coast uh, of Gibraltar. The Spaniards are saying that that will prevent their trawlers from fishing uh, for shellfish there. It's reignited a long-running dispute over the sovereignty of the uh, territory, which is classified as a British overseas territory, one of 14 uh, around the world that falls under the sovereignty of Britain. Britain has had sovereignty for more than 300 years. Now Spain uh, is saying that it is uh, going to take the whole issue to the UN Security Council. It's seeking Argentinian, Ar Argentinian support for that uh, because they have a similar claim over the uh, Falkland Islands. Meanwhile, Britain is saying it will take uh, Spain uh, to the European Court uh, if necessary. And on Tuesday there was a further escalation when the uh, Spanish Minister for Agriculture and Fishing uh, said he would impose tough sanctions against any ships that are uh, conducting uh, ship to ship refueling based uh, in Gibraltar, uh, further broadening the uh, dispute, not just concerned now uh, with, with uh, alleged cigarette smuggling into Gibraltar from Spain, uh, not just concerned with fishing, but now also with shipping as well. Dan Rivers, CNN, London. Gibraltar is a territory of less than seven square kilometres. The economy there is booming, Spain is in recession, and the rock has been one of the highest GDP per capita ratios in the world. A combination of low tax policies and the financial services and banking sector that is robust, along with tourism and online gambling. The Gibraltar is also home to 30,000 people, and you'll struggle to find anyone out of work. The unemployment rate there is 2.5%. Move the decimal point to 26.3% in Spain, and it's nearly 36% in the Andalusia region, which borders Gibraltar's. Looking at the growth numbers, Gibraltar, Gibraltar's GDP <coughs> up 7.8% last year. Spain is contracting 1.4% and Britain is just about unchanged. Uh, Fabian Picado is the chief minister of Gibraltar and the minister joins me now uh, via Skype. Minister, OK, so the, the dispute is an, ex is an existing one has been going on for many years. The UK is now sending a warship on planned exercises, but you've got to admit the rhetoric is now heating up. Indeed, and one has to wonder why. Um, we've been facing this rhetoric, uh, as you say, since we created this artificial reef, which was only a week after a Spanish Civil Guard launch saw, uh, uh, fired rubber bullets on a jet skier from Gibraltar who was in British Gibraltar territorial waters. Um, he was doing nothing wrong. He was just set upon by them. We didn't raise the temperature and the rhetoric then. We dealt with matters in so, a much more professional and diplomatic way. Why right, is it that so, Spain wants to raise the rhetoric? Right. I mean, let me ask you this. The, the cynics say it's because the economic situation is so bad in Spain and they're doing the old trick of diverting attention uh, by focusing on a nationalist uh, spat with another country over Gibraltar. Is it really that simplistic? I don't think it is. I'll tell you, I think it's about two aspects of Spanish politics. The first is the one you identify, which is the serious economic problems that Spain is having. But I think the more serious issue, because that's been going on already for three or four years, the more serious issue are the corruption allegations engulfing Mariano Rajoy and the Popular Party, which are ironically coming to a head with some hearings in court tomorrow, the Balthenas case. I think that has more to do with why Spain wants to divert attention to me and my 30,000 fellow citizens and the difficulties that they are creating for us. If that's right, then this thing, I mean, the worst that anybody can do is respond to it, because 
effectively, Spain ain't going to invade Gibraltar, which is, of course, part of another EU country. So that's not going to happen. At best, they will be troublesome, and at worst, they will make life a bit more difficult for you. Yes, but it's also uh, not possible to just roll over and take it. So it's a combination of having to deal with things in a diplomatic, calm and assured manner and not deal with issues as, the, as Spain might wish. I mean, you, if you look at the Spanish newspapers, eight pages of Spanish ABC, which is one of the right-wing newspapers, and another eight pages of La Razón, the most right-wing of the Spanish newspapers, have been dedicated to this every day for the past nine or ten days. That really is Spain trying to ensure that, or the popular party trying to ensure that its supporters are reading about this nationalistic issue and not about the F issues afflicting the party. Right. Finally, um, ultimately, what do you want? I mean, you want Spain to let, just go away, basically, and, and behave on this subject. But ultimately, what do you want the UK to do? You've got these warships coming down, coming down on, on planned exercises. Are you calling for a show of force? No, I, I, let's be very clear, Richard. We don't want Spain to go away. We want Spain to be a strong partner of Gibraltar. Our most treasured relationship is the relationship with the United Kingdom. That is strong, and that is why we're standing shoulder to shoulder facing down these problems together. But our next most important relationship must be with Spain. 10,000 Spaniards come into Gibraltar every day to work here. People from Gibraltar get married to people from Spain. Despite the headlines, there's a lot of great business going on between right. Gibraltar and Spain. The bunkering happens because we buy bunkers from the Spanish suppliers. So at the end of the day, what we're saying is, let's get back to having a great partnership which works for all of us. Minister, thank you very much. Appropriately, the minister there joining us in front of the flags of the UK and, of course, uh, the European Union and Her Majesty the Queen over the shoulder as well. We thank you for that, sir. Details are slowly coming in now of events that took place in Nigeria.